Hey, so welcome back to my series on what's new in PCDMS 2020 R1. In this video, I'll be talking about enhancements to the measurement strategy editor. The first thing they've done is added a toolbar, so you can see it here. To add this toolbar, just right click the toolbar area and select it here, measurement strategy. So the nice thing with this toolbar is it now has a drop down. So we don't have to open measurement strategy editor to change our user groups. So we can just quickly switch to the different uh, groups that we've saved, like 8 hit circle for example, or another one I was testing with, I just used my own name there. So it automatically, when you select it, sets that as the default group. Another nice feature they've added in this version is that the measurement strategy editor will recognize your probe type and probe mode. So if I open up the strategy editor, you'll see here that it recognizes that I'm using an analog probe and that I'm in manual mode. Uh, prior to this version, that was not the case. Okay, so let's go back into the measurement strategy editor and I'll show you some of the new features. So you'll notice if I expand this window here, that we actually have these on off buttons here. So this is uh, brand new to this version and this is a great new feature. What it does is allows you to control what appears on the measurement strategy widget as we're creating features. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's close it for now and I'll just show you the, the normal way. All right, so let's go and just pick a circle using the factory default setting. When we do that, doing the quick feature, shift and click, and we open up the properties of that feature, the little gear there, you can see the only thing we have available to change at this point is number of hits and depth. So with the new enhancement to this widget, we can actually add to that list, like add avoidance moves, sample hits, things like that. So I'll show you how we do that. So I'll just cancel this one. So let's go back into the measurement strategy editor and we'll just focus on circles for now. So let's just go into the circle. So what I want to do is in addition to number of hits and depth, I want to add avoidance move. So let's scroll down here. So what I need to do is go and find avoidance move and just turn it on. Simply turn it on and if I want to control the distance as I create my features, I can turn that on as well. So let's save that as a group now, and we'll just call it uh, demo123, click OK, and now that's added to the list. And the other nice thing is I don't necessarily need to set this group as the default at this point. I can just close this, save and close. And now from the drop down, I can just select it. And that will automatically set this as my default strategy. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a circle and I'll show you the changes. Okay, so now when we click the property gear right here, you can see I've added those two new fields. So I can change this on the fly. So I can disable that or just make it before only. I can change the distance and that's all done on the fly. Okay, so that's about it for this series on what's new in 2020 R1. I hope you found those demonstrations useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.